Hey there, Rectech family. Chef Greg here with you. Super easy recipe. We are making a massive bacon cheeseburger. And when I mean massive, it's big enough for Ray. Six pounds of 80-20 ground beef. We're gonna season that up with one onion. This is a beautiful Vidalia onion. We're gonna get a real small dice on this onion. We're gonna cook this burger patty low and slow at 275 degrees for probably about an hour, hour and 20 minutes or so. We'll take it to an internal of 140 degrees. Then we're gonna blast it at 450 degrees until it's done. And then we are gonna serve it with a whopping two pounds of candied bacon, two pounds of pulled pork, one pound of uh, cheddar cheese, so this burger, I think when the tomatoes, the lettuce, everything's on there, I think it should weigh about 14 pounds. So um, it's gonna be a big one. I think it's kind of cool to see some big burgers. People slice them up like pizza. It's fun for parties. It could be fun for you too. So here we have our six pounds of ground beef, our onion. We're gonna add in three eggs. We're gonna add in a little salt and pepper. Probably about three, four ounces of breadcrumb. And I know this is kind of looking like a meatloaf, but this is gonna be such a big burger, we need something to hold it together. And then this is a quarter cup of your favorite steak sauce, barbecue sauce, it's really up to you. So we're gonna mash this up. And start to form our massive burger. It's a great way to get your kids in the kitchen. Just make sure they wash their hands first. We're going to be cooking this on the grill mat. It's going to make it a lot easier to move the burger around. You really don't want to overwork it. Just kind of bring it together. Kind of pick it up and slap it around. Now my burger bun is probably about 10 inches around. So we want to make sure that we keep our patty about that size. So we're gonna flip this over on our grill mat. And we're gonna to start to shape this burger. Now it'll shrink up a little bit, so make sure when you're shaping it, probably go about an inch bigger than your bun. And if you want, you can use a Pyrex, a glass Pyrex dish to help shape this. So there's our six pound burger. We'll go ahead and season this up with a little bit of salt and pepper over the top. And we'll get this on the RT680 at 275 for probably about uh, an hour, hour and 20 minutes or so until it's an internal of 140 degrees. I'll see you at the RecTech. All right, so our massive cheeseburger has come up to 140 degrees internal. It took right about an hour and 15 minutes. I've got a RT680 set at 425 degrees with the sear kits flat. I've got two more sear kit plates on the side, good and hot. We're gonna do the Jody method. We're putting sear kits on both sides. So let's go ahead and pull it off the grill. All right, so our colossal bacon cheeseburger is done to recap. Six pound patty, pound of cheddar cheese, two pounds of bacon, two pounds of pulled pork. Let's go ahead and get it built. Now, we've got, well, let's do the pulled pork first. I don't even know if it's all gonna fit, but we're gonna make it fit. We'll do some tomatoes over the top to say we had our vegetables for the day. A couple pickles. 
little Duke's mayonnaise, and that, my friend, is the colossal cheeseburger. So with a burger this size, you need friends. And uh, you know what? Ben and Matt, they're some really good friends. So I think they are gonna, gonna go for it. Down. Don't make eye contact with me. Pretty good, right? So the burger's bigger than my head, and uh, we got some food to eat. So yeah, make a massive burger, make a mess of yourself. I don't have anything on your nose. <laughs> <laughs>